slavery from ancient Mesopotamia to America. Unfortunately, slavery has been practiced th for thousands of years. However, what being a slave meant has changed over those thousands of years. So, was being a slave in ancient Mesopotamia the same as being a slave in America? I will argue that there were some similarities and some differences among them. In ancient Mesopotamia, there were many ways to become a slave. The most common way to become a slave was if you were captured in battle, then you would become a slave to the, to the army that captured you, to the civilization that captured you, to be more precise. You could be kidnapped and sold into slavery in a different civilization, or you could become a slave as punishment for a crime. The other common way to become a slave is if you or a family member were to sell yourself off to slavery to pay off a debt, which was very common because there were lots of debts back then. But in 1800s America, slaves were all of African origin and were enslaved solely because of their ethnicity and skin color. This was the product of racism in this time and resulted in many violent acts against black people. This was the only way you could become a slave. There were no white slaves. Slaves in Mesopotamia were supposed to work diligently and were not allowed to complain. However, much unlike the slaves in the more recent times, they didn't only do the menial and painful work. Granted, slavery was probably picked up to ensure that the hard work was dealt with, but some educated slaves were employed and set to work to teach children or keep records of things with writing and pictographs. Eventually, after working well for years, the, um, the slaves would be able to purchase their freedom. However, they wouldn't be in luck if they were sold from being a slave to being a slave for another family, for they would have to work for much longer. Recent sla American slavery was just menial work, and there were many dangers to not abiding by the rules. Slave owners would sometimes hire people to keep the slaves in line and threaten them with weapons and uh, physical violence. One of the di big differences between the two slavery periods was why they were enslaved. Racism in the 1800s, and, and in Mesopotamia, it was your actions and, um, and uh, also battles. So, um, in ancient Mesopotamia, they were enslaved to keep the society alive and working, so that was seen as a common practice that was supposed to um, let the city continue growing and thriving, because without the slave work, they wouldn't be able to get a lot of their things done, and all the other and all the work would, would they would have to pay a lot more for. So it was just a way of getting a cheap, a, a cheap worker, and who would do all the menial work. But then it obviously progressed to to um, the slaves being employed and used in whatever way the their owners um, found necessary. Now, another big difference in the two societies' views towards slavery was that in America, there were large groups of people, not just black people, but white as well, who spoke out against slavery. They were, some of them were called abolitionists. Some of them spoke publicly, some of them wrote books, and some of them led marches. Few did all of these, but the point is that there were many big anti-slavery movements. There were many leaders, included Frederick Douglass and Harriet Beecher Stowe. Also, the Civil War was based off of the two main groups of America fighting over slavery, because one of them was completely opposed to having slavery and thought that it was very immoral, but the other group thought it was very useful and found it, like, didn't find any problems with it. But in Mesopotamia, it was seen as a common practice, and no one really questioned it. People went with it, even the slaves, though they hated being a slave, they went with it, and eventually, if they did without getting in trouble, they would be able to purchase their freedom. However, they would be very, they would be in big trouble if they were caught complaining about slavery. So in general, the opposition, treatment, and causes of slavery in the June time periods were very different. If it was up to me, I would rather be a slave in ancient Mesopotamian times than in recent American times, because the slavery in Mesopotamia was less hate-based and was really only for practicality and, um, help, and help around the city. 
even though there was physical pain in both of the times and lots of uh, people threatened you a lot and you were viewed as pretty much less than human in both of the times, the cons in American slavery outweigh those in ancient Mesopotamia, crazily enough. Even though slavery was viewed as a common and okay practice and custom in Mesopotamia, I believe that the older times were better to live in than the more recent times, despite their lack of technology and moral treatment. So, all in all, there were lots of reasons to be, to be a slave in um, Mesopotamia and not, and not in ancient America, though there were obviously the advantages to being a slave in America, because like there were people who fought against it, eventually you would be let out if, like, if you were lucky and were born in that time period where slavery was abolished. Um, but in Mesopotamia, there was no really end to slavery. There was just an end to your own slavery that did not result in like death or like just escaping. I mean, people, the slaves did sometimes try and escape, but were all, but almost always did didn't succeed. And um, and what, if they did, they would always go to a different civilization where they were complete strangers to everyone else. So. Even with that, I do believe that the older times were better to live in, despite their lack of technology and moral treatment. So with that, I hope you have enjoyed this small film, but hope even more that it has made you think deeper about the differences in slavery in these two times. Thanks for watching.